Hi there, Rob from RobsHealthCrunch.com here in Singapore from the roof terrace of my hotel where I'm waiting for my apartment to be ready. Today I want to talk about, in this video, I want to talk about um, cardio, chronic cardio, and the fact that cardio can actually be your worst enemy if you do it wrong, which most people unfortunately do because they're not aware and not educated properly by either their trainers or by uh, personal trainers, by the, the, the gym personnel and so on. It's just a, the industry peddles this thing that, you know, high intensity cardio for an hour or more is good for you. It's not. That you look at, just look at, look at the typical, I, mean, I used to do this some seven, eight years ago in New York. I was in, I hated it, but I, was, I did it. Um, what's it called again? Sprinting in the bikes. You know what I mean, I forget the name now, but anyway. Um, you're in a room, sprinting like crazy, going fast, high, high resistance, low resistance, going mad. Uh, and then you just basically, your heart rate's constantly up there. What are you doing? You're, you're elevating your heart rate close to your maximum, which is not burning any fat. You're burning glucose. And, so you're, and you're not in the aerobic zone, which is the fat burning zone. You're in the anaerobic zone. Where you, again, you only burn glucose. So you're completely achieving the opposite. You're not burning fat. The same applies to fast running for an hour or so, for five, six miles, same thing. You're elevating your heart rate into the anaerobic zone, you're burning glucose, and when you're spent with the glucose, which can happen quite easily, your, your system goes to the muscles and, and breaks the muscle tissue down into glucose, so that you're losing muscle mass, in fact, to, to give you energy. So you wanna always keep your cardio in a low level aerobic manner. And that is generally the, the rule is 180 maximum heart rate minus your age. So in my case, that would be about 130. Stay below there, you're aerobic and you're burning fat. You're not out of breath. You can breathe, you can talk easily, and that means you're, you're aerobic. As soon as you can't talk and you're out of breath, you're anaerobic. So all of these exercises, people going full out for an hour and so on, it's just, it's just not achieving your weight loss goal. It's also, you're not, you're not building a strong heart or healthy organs. You're harming your heart by producing a ton of cortisol, which is our stress hormone, our fight or flight hormone, and that's just a fact. So cardio is great for heart health, to build a strong heart, heart and cardiovascular system, and also at the same time, it helps to build healthy organs and lose a lot of fat and calories. Um, you know, weightlifting, strength training, and, and sprinting are also great ways to, to burn fat and build muscle, but they've got to be done in a very short time, reducing the amount of time you spend at a high heart rate, where again, you're stressing your heart with the cortisol release. So I aim to spend no more time than 15 minutes when I'm doing strength training or sprinting. Um, and the rest of the time I, I'll do a lot of lengthy cardio exercises. I mostly walk at a fast pace, so power walking, which is great for the heart and good for your bones, builds bone density, because it's, it's not bad on your joints like running because it's, the impact is so, so little, but it's, it's hard enough or strong enough on your bones and joints to build bone density, which is so important, especially when you're aging. Um, well, that's it. Cardio is great, but it can be your worst weight loss enemy if you're not doing it right. All right then, that's all from me today from robshealthcrunch.com. Go there and please subscribe to the YouTube channel, my YouTube channel here, and support us here at robshealthcrunch.com.